feeling good. Feeling full? Yep. Got Chick some chicken. Chick-fil-A hit the spot, Jack. Uh, in the airport, we're, so we're, we got to fly to Chicago first. Uh, and we have a four hour layover. Yeah, four and a half. So, first time ever flying first class. First time I've ever flown first class and uh, it did it did cost some coin, I'm not gonna lie, but the flight from Chicago to Anchorage is six hours. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And it's gonna be comfortable. If anything's on my mind right now, I'm excited about the hunt, but it was hard leaving the kids this morning and, and mama. I bet. That's why I was late getting to your house. It took a little longer than usual. First, I didn't want to get out of the bed. Like, oh, it's going to be 10 days away from home. So <clears throat> these, these, these travel vlogs, these, these traveling hunts, whether it's North Dakota, Canada, now Alaska, they're amazing. But it always, it always hurts leaving home. It always sucks having my back on a different bed. It always sucks being away from them kids. What do you have to say about it? About anything? Uh, You're just excited. I'm excited. You, you uh, yeah, this is gonna be the trip of a lifetime. It is. It's a hike getting up there. We had to check five bags. Five bags. Coolers. We had so much crap. Tons of crap. We still have all these carry-ons. Yeah, still have all this crap. Yeah. It's a lot, but I'm ready to. I'm ready to get up there. We uh we meet our giveaway winners, Forrest and his brother. That's probably where we'll see them next. Yeah, we'll probably see you guys next when we meet Forrest and his brother. Uh, they're the giveaway winners uh, on our podcast. If you guys want to, just real quick, let's get out of the way here. If you guys want to win uh, a giveaway hunt, we have three giveaway hunts coming up, all at Sand Hill. Everything from snow goose to turkey. Uh, no, we have two. Two, but we're going to do one in the but summer. But we're going to do a summer yep. one, like pigeons or something. If you guys want to get in on the giveaways, all you got to do is uh, join our podcast. It is always linked down below in the description. Blind Talk Podcast on uh, Patreon. Five bucks a month. We have some free episodes on there. Check them out. You can check it out and see if you like it before you spend your five bucks. But I've never heard anybody say they didn't like it. Yep. That's that. We'll see you in Chicago. Chicago, should I take you there? I'm here in about 20 minutes. Last weather report was showing gusty windows, southwest west windows, no visibility in the front of the skies. Temperature right now is 82 degrees. Uh, right now, it looks like we're parking at gate G19, Gulf 19, that's the triple three. Do you appreciate your final this afternoon? We'll see you there on your shoulder. My name's Forrest Andrew Arnes from Cameron, West Virginia. Mark Arnes from Cameron, West Virginia. Nice. What are you guys doing here? Ah, we're going to go try to shoot some birds up in Alaska, I heard. Hell yeah. Get some, some brants and catch some salmon and some halibut. Bobby Guy from yeah, Central Nowhere, you, uh, Kansas. Anyways, big shout out to Forrest. Um, if you hadn't uh, joined the podcast when you did, you may not be here, right? Or, uh, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, proof in the pudding. If you guys want to win any of the upcoming hunts that we're doing, go down in the description. Do like Forrest did. Subscribe. Do you like the podcast? I love the podcast. I get all kinds of different content about waterfowl, um, things like that. It's just politics. And they could be themselves, you know, they're not guarded by all the... That's the biggest thing. We get to be ourselves. We get to, we get to have a beverage, let our lips loose. Oh, God. It is. It's like duck camp every time. So, why'd you choose your brother? That's a good question. <laughs> Are you guys pretty close then? <laughs> yeah. The uh, reason we, I chose my brother is because we, we hunted waterfowl together back home and I knew he would he would enjoy coming out with me and we've never been to Alaska we've been to Idaho but we haven't been to Alaska it's a dream hunt it's a once in a lifetime hunt I, I would I would like to thank Bobby and I'd like to thank, thank Sing Hill and I'd like to thank the Aleutian um, Waterfowl Outfitters up, up in Alaska for this opportunity Charlie Charlie, oh. Charlie dude Charlie Steph we, I, we wouldn't have been able to offer this if it wasn't for Charlie. It was all his idea. It was all Charlie's idea. Yeah, so um, it's going to be awesome. We're going to take you guys on uh, every little crevice and corner of Alaska that we get to see. And at the end of this entire series, we have a huge 
huge, huge, huge announcement <laughs> that's going to affect a lot of things. Yeah. I like that idea. Good ways and bad. Who knows? Yeah. But, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that one. So uh, we have a six hour flight to Anchorage. We have to stay the night in Anchorage, like I said before. Uh, so we're gonna shut down the, the video here and just get there and chill and relax. And we're gonna open it back up tomorrow when we arrive in Cold Bay at Illusion Island Outfitters. And uh, we'll begin the journey, the second stage of the, of the journey. Yep. It's a long journey. <laughs> it's a lot of journey. It is. <laughs> Your bag is ridiculously heavy, buddy. I know, I'm sorry. Good. Nah. More bags? We got one more. Ho ho! Can I take my mask out? I'm outside. Uh, we're on the airstrip here, boarding Raven, Alaska. This will be the flight from Anchorage to Cold Bay, which is 850 miles roughly. So it's a double prop plane. Really big one. I've never been on a prop plane this big. Have you? No. This is really neat. Notice a no smoking and fantasy behind throughout the cabin. It is your responsibility to observe and obey these signs whenever they're illuminated, as well as all crew members' instructions, commands, and post the placards concerning flight safety requirements. This is a non smoking flight. Disabling, destroying, or tampering with the smoke detector at the laboratory is not allowed. Thank you. Filming. We're here, we made it. Are you filming? Yeah. We made it. So Can we take this off here. yet? I think so. Old Charlie's waiting on us. We gotta go say hi. How you doing guys? Yeah. How are you? How are you Good man. Hey, we'll see you. Just uh, come right through the airport because it's gonna be a bit half hour before they're jerking around. Okay. Just walk right through and come right outside. Okay. Well, welcome to Cold Bay, boys. We're excited to be here, man. Oh, we're going to have a good time. We're going out this afternoon. We're going to have a lunch and a little orientation. And we got a 6 o'clock high tide. So Steph and Jack are taking you out to the promised land for a couple hour afternoon hunt for some brand. And oh, perfect. I didn't think we were going to get a hunt oh, right no, when we no, got we're, here. Oh, we're going to... Did you guys... Did we get everything? Oh, yeah. We're good. Perfect. So this is the whole town of Cold Bay. There ain't much here. That's the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service up on the hill. How many people live here? Uh, there's 55 residents year-round. During hunting season, it goes to about 150. We're here, Cold Bay Adventures with Charlie, Steph. Um, I'm ready to have some fun. I am too. We're hunting this evening. Oh no way! Yeah, right. that's what that's what Charlie just said. No way. Jack Nelson. Uh, I've been working with Charlie here for a few years. I'm uh, his head guide for waterfall, and. Uh, yeah, I was uh, born and raised in Alaska and moved to Minnesota when I was nine with my family and uh, kind of been back to Alaska ever since. You know, my dad was a bush pilot and just kind of kept, just kept coming back for hunts or fishing or whatever. And, you know, as most people say, Alaska is a pretty special place. You know, once you come, it's hard to leave. And you know, here I am, still here, you know. <laughs> the rundown is we got low tide an hour ago. Uh, the brands are really tidal tidal dependent on when they move because the whole lagoon's uh, eelgrass so as the tide goes down there's more eelgrass exposed and then they move to whatever bed of eelgrass they want to feed so we have low tide right now so they're pretty much scattered throughout the entire um, lagoon but as the tide comes up it's going to start pushing them off of wherever they're feeding and then they come looking for new places to feed you know shallower areas and there's a couple points here that are pretty good easy to walk into uh, we're going to go try one of them this afternoon it's kind of in a cove where a lot of them cut. There's a big chunk of land that sticks out, but they cut over the they cut over land there, going from water to water. And uh, yeah, it should be good. This is awesome, dude. We're out here, walking in on the beach, going to a rock point, gonna sit up shop. He said the birds should start flying in about an hour once the tide comes up. First Brant, here we come. Well, we got uh, got out to our spot here. Of course, the last high tide <laughs> pulled all the eelgrass we had stashed up here and 
wash it away. So we went and grabbed some from the beach. And we're just kind of laying some down here, getting some cushions. Same as like a layout blind concept. And then the guys, you know, they can sit like this, a little bit of a headrest, and we'll get some more eelgrass to drape over us. And uh, it's gonna work, it's gonna be awesome. The group come over us like 20, Brant, just screaming. This is neat though, hiding underneath eelgrass on a rock. Totally just different than home. Way it's different, insane. we are not in Kansas anymore, buddy. Go ahead, shoot that lead bird, that's a nice one. Oh boy. Oh my oh, god. What was oh. that? <clears throat> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, my shot was way behind that bird. We're not talking about that one, okay boys? That is Bobby. Who got it? <laughs> we both shot at the oh, same exact time. <laughs> First, first brand, brand down, down baby. Is it a young one? Looks like a young one, don't it? That thing came right up. I don't know if I got the shot cam on in time. Really? Look, you want it, don't you? I don't know, let's see. I mean, it was identical yeah. shooting. Cruising in here, Billies. Oh, they're going to. All right. You gonna redeem yourself? Me? <laughs> I got one bird. Nice shot. Nice shot, P. Diddy. Woo. Those things work so hard. They came back. That was badass. Nice was shot, good. P. Diddy. Nice but shot. Heck yeah. That was a poke, too. Yeah, it was. I came up and I was like, I'm not even getting this. Swing back around. I'd, I'd cry if yours was tarsal and you just poked one out of a four pack. Oh, poop. Here comes the dog. You know, it looks naked on one leg. Yeah. Here. Juvie. Yep, definitely a juvie. Well, young. <sighs> Guys, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, you gotta do that, first of all. This is amazing. Check out the scenery. Unbelievable. Anything to say about it? Uh, it's crazy. It's so surreal to be here. Like, lot, it doesn't different. feel, I don't know, it's so different. <laughs> Alaska is unbelievable. Get ready. Here we go. Nice shot, you got him. We're just going to shoot them, boys. Shoot him. Go down. Minus to the right. Yeah, those are your birds. You guys shoot that. Three? What? Smash that decoy for you. You guys shoot three? Yeah. Sweet. Right on. Here's a swimming gavin. I really want to know where my dad is. Uh, he's going to go out and try to shoot a couple. It's really nice weather today, as you can see. Um, that went really well. <laughs> How long? We've been sitting maybe an hour. I took a picture right when we got here. Let me... Uh, yeah, what time What time did we get we here? We got in at 5.45. So... 4, 4.30 is right when we walked in. A little over an hour. A little over an hour. Here's our uh, kills. Uh, you know me, I shot the... The youngest, ugliest ones out of all of them. Uh, I would say this one's pretty nice. Got a nice ring, white ring on them. And then, yeah, Preston's, that one right there is pretty darn nice. So are, are like the really good looking adults, do they have a thick ring, kind of like a lesser? Yeah, like an, a, a yeah. Ring. It's crazy how many juveniles, you know? Yeah. There we go. This is insane. What do you think? Oh, this is amazing. Isn't it awesome? That was awesome. 
easy peasy not not hard you know no not hot at all go lay by some rocks right whenever the other group started shooting like a whole bunch just got up and was yeah over us. there's probably another two groups around us i would say maybe three um within i don't know half a mile that way quarter mile that way uh but at one time they scared up so many that it was a good swath of them i mean a few hundred there we go first brand down i want to show you guys the tide comes in and out and luckily we got done hunting before the tide started coming back up but uh this is what it is pure tundra pure tundra you're hiding in rocks uh eelgrass on top of you uh it's really solid uh it's not very muddy really solid it's got some grass and he said the best place to put your decoys is in about an inch of water and at about 15 20 yards out and it worked really 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 good you uh pretty stoked I'm so happy. <laughs> isn't it awesome look we got mountains in the background we got we got salt water a bit of salt water first salt water hunt i've ever done me too and we limited on brand getting out of plane we, you know limit on brand we've been here for three hours yeah we've been no we've been in cold bay for three hours yeah, not exactly. right here if you guys want to book a hunt with Cold Bay Adventures, Charlie, Somerville, you guys got to get a hold of him. I will, all of these Alaskan videos, I will uh, link Charlie's outfitter down in the, at the top of the description. Every single video, uh, come out here, hunt with Jack, hunt with Steph, hunt with Charlie. We sat down and they fed us prime rib sandwiches right when we got in the lodge. And in three hours of being out here, uh, not out here, but in Cold Bay, we got a one, two, three, four, five man limit of brand. Right here and see our boot prints. Look at that. So we were just talking about the tide. Check it out. Look at that. It's coming up at like a alarming rate. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, you in. can. Yep. Well, this is new to us, brother. Yeah, when you're going out in the morning and you're trying to skim shallow water and tide's going out and you start bumping, you're like, uh, we better find the channel here, boys. Holy cow, as you can see, how quick it's coming in. Yeah. Well, it goes out just as fast. So if you get somewhat stuck and you dick around too long, yeah. you're really stuck. Wow, dude, that is unreal. Look, Look at that. It. It's just coming in. Well, we limited out in perfect time, boys. Yeah, this is, yeah. Yeah, the birds haven't even flown yet. They're still, I mean, just circling. That was a good, good dinner, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you to the girls, Charlie's wife, Steph. Awesome, awesome little, not even little, grand operation that Charlie's got going on. Go through uh, what you got to do tonight as far as prep. Well, we got to, me and Jack, you know, Jack and uh, all three of us, the staff, we get together. We go through the magic weather station. We check Windy. We check NOAA. We check the satellites and uh, look at the, you know, the whole weather picture because the weather is so vital down here. Making a solid plan for safety, you know, with a, the safety. We always talk about safety. We don't want to have a problem. In this place, you can have a problem. As you see, as we're sitting here, yeah. the volcano is erupting across the bay. Literally. Yeah, literally. And, and the uh, wind went from nothing to <laughs> everything. Yeah, it's blowing 25 <laughs> outside, almost 30 it's going to be. But So we're going to do a quick uh, weather check, tide check, and uh, come up with a plan for tomorrow. And uh, I think it's going to be a, a big day. Yeah, we're going to, it sounds like we're going to set a bunch of decoys on some Canada's and Brant. So tomorrow's plan is Canada, Brant hunt, lots of decoys, probably a whole group hunt. Big group hunt. Big group hunt. Something like today, but big group hunt, more decoys. Um, again, you got to tell people just how to get a hold of you, how you want them to get a hold of you. Uh, they'll be, you'll be, he'll be in the description down below, but how can they get Well, we're at uh, alaskaduckhuntingguides.com, so we're pretty easy to find. Lucian Island Waterfowlers, and then, uh, you know, I'm around, Jack's around, you know, Jack's always, he's running around here, and uh, somebody's answering the phones, but yeah, just give us a call, and uh, check out our website. We've got some great hunting, and uh, you got a nice little taste today with a, a good warm-up hunt. Perfect. Jack put you guys on it, and I'm glad you guys had a good start. Perfect. Uh, well, thank you guys for being here. Um, hold on, turn it to Forrest real quick. The giveaway winner. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark. How did, uh, how did the shooting go? Um, a little rusty, but I had a great time. <laughs> I saw tons of birds, way more than I would ever see back home. So 
I do, I do appreciate everything you, you guys do. You guys do. Everybody here, it's a great time. I, I enjoy being with you. Everybody. Glad you're here, man. Yeah. They had a female guide also. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they had a female guide. You got to get closer. Yeah. I can't zoom in there for Both of them got their limit. <laughs> Both of them got their limit. I mean, she carried everything. Did she? Yeah, she was huffing it. it she had the decoys in there. She had the brats inside, and she was <laughs> huffing it through there, and just like a trooper, being on a beeline to get through that. And I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Well, well, tomorrow morning's another day. Yep. We'll see you at breakfast. <laughs> we'll see you at breakfast, and we'll see y'all on the next one.